Next winner of, of film editing for Oppenheimer, Jennifer LeMay. Hi. What do I do? <laughs> First question, number 344 with 236 on backup. My name is Thomas Puskaler, TV Yoy from the Slovak Republic, and congratulations with your win. It is amazing. Thank you. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the movie. Uh, my question is, how challenging is it editing in IMAX format and all the other formats you had to do in the movie? It's actually not that challenging. It's such a boring answer, but it doesn't really make a difference. It's still just editing a movie. Um, and the way Hoyt and Chris do it, it just kind of folds in naturally. And it, at the end, we kind of make some decisions visually, but really it's just best performances, best, best version of the movie. Yeah, so it's really not the big a challenge. <laughs> Next Jennifer. question, 236 with 242 on deck. Hi, Jennifer, congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Uh, Alex Walsh with A-Fram. You've said before that editing is hard to talk about because it's so intuitive and it's like music. And I'm curious about what it's been like for you to tonight and also over the past few months have such a spotlight on your work because I know you, you don't think it's something that needs to be talked about all the time. Right. Um, it's been incredible to have a spotlight on my work. Like I said out there working for Chris, um, when he hired me, I was in shock because it was so many new things that I'd never done before and I uh, was so out of my comfort zone so many levels and um, I did things I never thought I would be able to do so actually having a spotlight on this film was really great for me to just thank everybody for giving me these and opening these doors I never thought would open for me so um, it's actually been quite incredible but yes talking about editing is not one of my strong suits <laughs> number 242 in the center of the room with 203 on deck Hi, Jennifer. It's Jazz Hi. from Variety. Jazz! Love Congrat you. Congratulations Thank on the you. win. Um, it is bit, the last female to win this category was in 2015. What does it mean for you to be standing up there today to win the Oscar for Best Editing? It means so much. I have so many uh, female editing uh, heroes, and it also means so much to work in a film with so many female heads of department, uh, to have a leader like Emma Thomas um, leading the charge as a producer, to have Donna Langley, a female head of the studio, be the studio that I worked with. It's just, it means so much to have so many incredible, like I said, badass women leading the charge on this film. Um, and um, yeah, and it just, uh, it, it feels very important and great. Next question, number 203 in the center of the room and back. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, Tom Murray from The Independent here. Uh, the pacing of this film is so quick and so fast. Was that a struggle in the editing to convey all that was going on in the film so quickly? Yeah, to yes, it was a struggle. And I never wanted it to feel too quick, so I hope it didn't feel too quick. Um, but yeah, I think it was a struggle to get, to, you know, to give all the performances were incredible. Everything that Chris shot, his script was incredible. And I wanted it all to be in there. And I want everyone to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it when I read that script. But I didn't want it to feel too rushed. So um, that was obviously uh, an incredible challenge that Chris and I uh, worked together on so hard every day. And it means so much to me that so many people enjoyed the film and came out to watch it and told me they didn't think it was too long, even though I know it's almost three hours. <laughs> We're um, now moving to a virtual question. It's BLD Germany. Natasha, go ahead. Hi, Jennifer. It's, Hi. Such a, it's such an honor to talk to you, and congratulations. Thank you. It's really, really incredible. And I'm not just saying that. I watched it like two times in the movie theater in IMAX, and I just left with goosebumps every time. Oh, thank you. And so it's not too long, first of all. And thank second you. of all, Killian Murphy, I mean, everyone is in awe of him. He is the perfect Oppenheimer. And I was wondering, like, you as an editor, like, what was it like editing his scenes? And was it hard to kind of like cut it down? Because I can imagine he was incredible in every scene. Yes, it was. Oh my God. And, and I have so many favorite scenes, scenes with Killian because his performance blew me away. And I have to be honest, when I read the script and I um, know what I know about the man Oppenheimer, I couldn't imagine how could this sustain for three hours because nobody knows him and he's inscrutable and isn't that boring. But Killian brought this intensity to it and this 
I just mesmerized by his performance and you wanted to know who he was even though he wouldn't really tell you and um, some of my favorite scenes are when he's vulnerable like in Truman's office when he actually wants to take a stand and he's bumbling and he's acting like he can't make a sentence which you've never seen him do before and I had a way longer cut of that scene or when he's in the Casey Affleck scene and he's really bad at lying um, so yeah there were so many of my favorite scenes with Killian that I, I did have to cut down um, because he's fantastic <laughs> congratulations thank you so much Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.